It's a stick. Can I make it fly? Okay, technically it's a 16 mm carbon tube, but I think we can assume that it's close enough to the concept of the stick. Okay, sticks don't fly, because mainly there is nothing on the stick that can generate lift. However, if you slam two motors and two servos on the stick, you can easily convert it to something like this, which technically is called a bicopter. Technically speaking, the bicopter is a multi-rotor drone that has two motors, two propellers, hence the name, and two servos. Usually, depending on the configuration, two of the axes of the bicopter are stabilized thanks to the gimbal motors, and one of the axes is stabilized thanks to differential torque generated by the counter-rotating motors. The characteristic feature of the bicopter is that both motors have to be gimbaled. The more advanced models will have two degrees of the freedom for each motor, however, if you want to, you can sacrifice and simplify the design by having each of the motors gimbaled in only one degree of the freedom. My bicopter is just such a device. The top motor is stabilizing the roll, while the bottom one is stabilizing the pitch. And the yaw stability is obtained thanks to the differential torque. More about physics. The bicopter, just like any other body in space, wants to rotate around its center of the gravity. That means if you put the gimbal motor far away from the center of the gravity, and when you tilt the motor, the shifting vector of the thrust generated by the motor will allow you to control the rotation speed around the center of the gravity. In theory, because you know, in practice, it's always slightly more complicated than that. And now finally, it's time for the part that everybody was waiting for. Can a stick fly? Okay, so let's see if this thing really works. Too much eye gains, probably on the roll pitch and yaw because it was just bobbling like that up and down. This is the eye term on the yaw building up. But besides that, looks like it's kinda even maybe slightly configurable. Flyable. So, as you can see, sticks can fly. However, there's always a but. Also, the flying stick bicopter I just built is flyable. It's probably the most stable bicopter I've built so far, but that's not really enough. Because comparing to everything that we are used to to fly right now, this thing in the air is well... Uh, it's extremely loose, not responsible, and wants to fight the pilot all the time. Why? A couple of reasons. The reason number one are the servos. The servos are much less responsive than the motors, and this causes a lot of delay. Also, because a huge moment of inertia and the amount that, of the torque that the motors can generate comparing to the moment of the inertia of this thing, it just cannot rotate very fast. If you start the maneuver, and for example, will tilt the motor this way so that the stick tries to rotate this way it will take the whole contraption a lot of time to start the maneuver the item will wind up and then it will want to follow and yes you can in theory cut the item slower but then you will lose the stability i'm not sure but in the in the first flights uh, most probably you saw that it was wobbling like that all the time. This was because of too high of the eye gains. But when I lowered the gains to really low values, it's like 15 right now, the wobbling is gone. However, this thing does not really want to keep the attitude as we would like this thing to keep the attitude. And finally, gyroscopic precession is a bitch. You want to know what's gyroscopic precession? There are a lot of videos in the YouTube that explains exactly what's gyroscopic precession, but more or less is the situation that when you tilt a rotating disc, which 
acts like a gyroscope, you expect that the disc will keep the val the keep the attitude, but it will make some uh, torque to rotate everything uh, around it. It will counteract the the movement. Correct, but also it will also generate the force 90 degrees from the axis of the force. So every time you roll, you also add some pitch only because of the gyroscopic precession and. This makes the whole control with only two motors and relatively slow and cheap servos at least slightly complicated. On top of that, because the stability is kept only when the motors are generating enough of the thrust for the thrust vectoring to be effective, you cannot really pull the throttle down. Every time you pull the throttle down, it loses stability and basically wants to fall from the sky. Probably right now you see a moment when I went high and then decided to go down and just pull the throttle slightly too low. It's just rolled to one side uncontrollable, but when I added the throttle it was really too late to recover and as the result it just crashed. However, it was a relatively cool project and please write in the comments what you think about experiments like that. Should I continue? What should I improve? What should I try doing different? Because maybe someone of you is uh, more experienced in the bicopter than me. If you would like to know more about the bicopters I've built previously, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying! Damn it, this thing sucks.